let's talk about the former NATO Secretary General. Anders Fogh Rasmussen stressed that it is important for the Russian dictator, for Putin, to freeze this war. This is what Putin is striving for, and it is a real challenge for Ukraine, for our Western partners, for the entire civilized world. Anders Fogh Rasmussen said this in an interview, adding that he did not know how long this war would last. However, it is extremely important not to let Russia win. Let's listen to what the former NATO Secretary General had to say. I am afraid that the war will continue for a long time. Putin's plan A, to occupy the whole of Ukraine in a few days, has failed. His plan B is a frozen conflict and Russian occupation of eastern Ukraine in the hope that the West will weaken and surrender. In my opinion, next year will be crucial. If we give Ukrainians everything they need not only to survive, but also to win the war, they will have every chance of pushing the Russians back. I hear this argument all the time. Let's make peace. Let's return to more comfortable times. But if peace is achieved at the expense of Ukrainians, if Ukrainians are forced to give up their territory, then Putin will conclude that his invasion was successful and he will be encouraged to continue. Why not continue? Moldova will be next, then Georgia, and then he will put pressure on the Baltic states. Well, what Anders Fogh Rasmussen has just said is that with the Russian victory, Putin's appetite will expand, meaning that he will definitely not stop, and there will be no peace for Europe or the civilized world. This will be a telling moment for autocrats around the world. Xi Jinping in China would have come to the same conclusion. If Putin got away with invading Ukraine, then I will get away with taking over Taiwan. This is why we cannot allow Putin to succeed in Ukraine. But to get this message across to the people of Europe, we need strong political leadership. What we talked about at the beginning of this news hour. About the messages of Volodymyr Zelensky. In his interview today, he noted that the political decision of our partners to allow us to strike with Western weapons on Russian territory, at least in these frontline regions, including 100 kilometers into Russia, where there is a real threat, has made it possible to really improve the situation in the Kharkiv sector. And improve it so much that additional forces can be deployed. Russia is now thinking about how to implement it on the Kharkiv direction. The enemy's forces now need to be restored. Yuri Fedorenko, commander of the Achilles Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Battalion of the 92nd Separate Assault Brigade, said this during the Talithan. He determined that the tasks set by Russian dictator Putin for his army cannot be fulfilled without replenishing Russian forces. Therefore, it is likely that the enemy will still bring in these additional reserves. The enemy is unable to realize the tactical intentions it has set for itself on the battlefield, and is suffering objectively enormous losses. He is currently replenishing his manpower and equipment, which he loses on the battlefield. Therefore, they will be looking for opportunities to attract them and transfer them to continue their activities in the Kharkiv region, 